With a focus on customization and personalization, automakers are offering more options and features than ever before. Here are the most customizable cars of 2024. Mercedes AMG EQE SUV Mercedes unveiled a fully electric SUV that was the more potent AMG model, giving the 5-seater up to 671 horsepower and 500 kilowatts. The two variants each have their own front fascias, while the standard EQE SUV has a closed-off grille with a star motive. AMG's face has vertical accents with a Panamericana grille-inspired appearance. The interiors of the two vehicles are similar and both come with the brand's optional hyperscreen display. Mercedes will also provide four trim levels for the Mercedes-AMG EQE SUV, from the base 350 Plus to the AMG. The rear-wheel drive 350 Plus will have a single motor producing 288 horsepower, 214 kilowatts, and 417 pound-feet of torque or 565 newton meters. Mercedes will sell the 536 horsepower, 392 kilowatt EQE 500 SUV and the dual motor EQE 350 for Matic. Customization will allow new Mercedes EQE owners to determine price as well as how long their vehicle can go when fully charged. Cadillac Lyric by far one of the most interesting luxury electric SUVs you will ever set your eyes on, the new Lyric is making a return in 2024 with interesting changes based on customers' feedback. The major update to the Lyric is the new trim levels. You get a base model tech trim, a mid-range luxury trim, and at the top of the class is the new Sport. The major differences among these three trims are more aesthetic than functional. You may be able to go with either and still be just fine. Choreographed exterior lights, illuminated door handles, and rain-sensing wipers are the kind of features you may be missing out on if you go for the base model. Interestingly, range estimates are lower than they were for the 2023 Lyric. Rear-wheel drive will offer around 308 miles, while you get one mile less on all-wheel drive at 307 miles. Performance is to be the same, with 340 horsepower on the single motor rear-wheel drive and 500 horsepower on the dual motor all-wheel drive variant. The 2023 model did not disappoint in performance, especially for a vehicle this size in the SUV class and we expect more of the same from the new Lyric. Good news is that the base stream level still starts at around $59,000. Kia EV9 Early 2024 is when the 2024 Kia EV9 is anticipated to appear. The 2024 Kia EV9 will be built on the EV6's popularity while being a big brother SUV with three rows. Interestingly enough, there will be five different trim options for the EV9, with a starting price of around $55,000. When built with max options, it should have roughly 400 horsepower and 480 pound-feet of torque. If you want the top, potent version of this EV, those are not bad numbers for a three-row family SUV. For Kia, it's crucial to have a family EV in the fleet, as the auto industry embraces electrification more and more. That will be the 2024 Kia EV9. Depending on how the interior is set up, it will most likely have seats for six or seven people as a three-row SUV. VinFast VF7 The VF7 is VinFast's response to the Toyota BZ4X, which suggests that it may end up being a possible best fan favorite of VinFast's electric SUVs. The VF7 should appeal to a wide range of electric SUV buyers because it is compact enough for confined urban environments but substantially large enough to compete on the open road. VinFast will be offered in Eco and Plus versions, just like the smaller VF6. 349 horsepower and 368 pound-feet of torque are anticipated to be produced by the more potent dual-motor all-wheel drive plus variant. Regarding the front drive, 
single motor VF7 Eco expect the same 201 horsepower and 228 pound-feet of torque, but hopefully something more optimized to offer a little more punch. Details about battery pack capacity and EV system charging are not yet available. The VF7 will be marketed as an upscale electric crossover with options including premium vegan leather upholstery trim and a panoramic sunroof, a front LED light bar with animated effect and rear trademark LED lights are among its exterior features. Each VF7 will also be equipped with various active driver assistance systems. Lucid Gravity The Gravity electric SUV is the logical next step after the release of the Lucid Air electric luxury sedan. The 2024 Lucid Gravity is anticipated to take what the Air offers, but adding a higher seating position, a more spacious cabin, an SUV design, and yes, a higher price. It will use the same tech as the Air. The Air sedan serves as the mechanical foundation for the Lucid Gravity SUV. We anticipate a version with dual electric motors and standard all-wheel drive. Like the Air, the Gravity will be available in a high-performance Grand Touring model with up to 1200 horsepower. However, a Sapphire variant with up to 1000 horsepower is also possible. The most expensive variants, like the Air, will probably be the most potent, with lower-end gravity trims having lesser horsepower figures. The gravity's taller, more angular SUV appearance will likely be less aerodynamic. Range should be slightly reduced as a result, even though its sedan brother promises a driving range of up to 516 miles per charge of its 112 kWh battery pack. The gravity should be able to charge quickly using DC fast charging, just like the Air. It may include three years of free charging at Electrify America charging stations, plus still be eligible for federal tax credits for a couple more years. Hyundai Kona Hyundai is now prepared to introduce the new crossover generation, which will hit American shores for the 2024 model year. There will be four different variants. Unsurprisingly, we are getting an EV version now. Then there is the purely combustion-powered, a hybrid, and the N-Line. Hyundai's designers first created the new Kona EV before incorporating the design into the other models. They all have a recognizable light bar along the edge of the hood up front. Below the strip, on the corners, are the headlights. The 2024 Hyundai Kona retains both of its four-cylinder engine from the previous generation. A 147 horsepower 2.0 liter engine will be the base model, with a turbocharged 1.6 liter four cylinder engine offered as an option. The hybrid drivetrain revealed for the Kona in other regions might also be available. Honda Prologue While Honda may not have the most popular brand when it comes to electric cars, it does look like they are on the brink of a breakthrough with the 2024 Prologue SUV. The company has revealed what this SUV is like and not so much info on what it can do on the drive. The only thing we can say for sure is that its platform will be mainly collaborated with General Motors, so expectations are high for this one. Design-wise, the 2024 Honda Prologue already snatches a good grade. You are getting a pretty cool compact SUV that can offer more space than the smaller models without the bulk of a big-size SUV. A pretty interesting choice by the Japanese automaker. If you like a minimalist design, the Prologue makes a perfect choice. The concept models so far show off a great blend of functionality, aesthetics, and simplicity. We cannot wait to see what comes next, whether it's about $45,000 price tag. Acura ZDX This is clearly Acura's first major attempt to join the EV movement. However, expectations are already high for the 2024 Acura ZDX. There has been some chatter about the 2024 ZDX sharing the same platform with the Cadillac Lyric. While that might come as a shock, it should not distract you from the bigger picture. The Cadillac Lyric is a pretty amazing ride, and if that is anything to go by, 
than we may be getting the 2024 ZDX was around 500 horsepower at its most powerful stage. Acura has not yet stated what the battery capacity will be. Nonetheless, the 2024 Acura ZDX may be getting the same 102 kWh battery from the Lyric. So, we're also looking forward to a range in the 300 mile per charge region. The 2024 ZDX is expected to retail at about $60,000 to $70,000 for its base model, and we are looking forward to how that turns out in production. Jeep Recon AV This Jeep is unique in the new lineup. The impending 2024 Jeep Recon AV is coming to crawl rocks to say it exactly. Electric vehicles have impacted almost every market, zapping into classes of vehicles like full-size pickup trucks, station wagons, luxury SUVs, and now this. The four-wheel drive Recon EV is a fully electric, mid-size SUV with a power-folding rooftop and easily detachable doors inspired by the Wrangler 4XE plug-in hybrid. Initial renderings show a spare tire mounted on the tailgate, the LED 7-slot front grille, the beefy BF Goodrich rubber, and the seats for up to 5 people on top of rubberized flooring. As one of two new electric models to the Jeep portfolio, the Recon EV will join the impending Wagoneer EV. We anticipate the Jeep Recon EV to be about the same size as the current Jeep Wrangler or Turo Grand Cherokee because it belongs to the mid-size SUV class. According to Jeep, the Recon EV production will be scheduled to begin sometime in 2024. Lincoln Star As usual, Lincoln is presenting one of the best-looking SUV designs you will ever see, but this time it is fully electric. The jaw-dropping new electric SUV called Lincoln Star is designed as futuristic self-driving SUV with fully electric dashboard and infotainment screens. Apart from the fact that it looks like an SUV that was imported from outer space on the outside. The interior concept is about as amazing as it can get. From the full-width display that covers the dashboard to the well-carved front seat and bucket seats at the back, there may also be an expensive beverage chiller, crystal touches and trim pieces in rose gold. While there is a high chance that the lot of these may be excluded from the production unit, it would be great to see what will be left in it. The Lincoln Star is expected to arrive in 2024 as a 2025 model, and we already know that it will be available in the options of either a rear-wheel or all-wheel drive, with an estimated price tag of $70,000. Chrysler Airflow Chrysler may not be the most consistent car brand in the world, but they are trying to switch up this narrative with an all-new entry. The Airflow EV concept was already revealed, but what we have right now looks like the vehicle that's closer to the production model. The Airflow will have the option of dual motors fitted on the front and rear wheels. Each of these motors will have around 201 horsepower. This already sounds exciting, and I look forward to seeing how Chrysler optimizes the drive to get the best out of these powerful electric motors. The brand has already mentioned that this SUV is getting a 118 kWh battery pack that gets you around 400 miles of range which is a pretty good number and also in the range of some of the longest-lasting EVs already on the market. There are a ton of futuristic features to the interior of the airflow, and if they are able to get anywhere close to the concept model, we've got an almost sci-fi-looking EV on our hands. Land Rover Range Rover EV was Land Rover's brand new chassis that can accommodate gas, plug-in hybrid or electric propulsion, the company's flagship EV model now makes an evolutionary leap into the completely electrified era. Luxury SUV that is also electric is expected to bring out the best 
out of the Range Rover's unique and recognizable design reputation. Battery range, power and pricing are among the crucial characteristics that are important, but we anticipate the Range Rover EV to maintain the plushness and strong off-road prowess that have come to represent the brand since it was introduced in the United States in 1987. An all-new chassis and new full electric powertrain will be used in the 2024 Range Rover EV. The electric vehicle will be built on the long wheelbase variant, which should allow for three rows of seating, just like the current gas-powered range. A new multi-link suspension design frees up more space for the EV's battery and rear-wheel steering system by reducing the amount of room required for wheel articulation. Hyundai Ioniq 7 The 2024 Hyundai Ioniq 7, an all-electric SUV resembling the three-row Hyundai Palisade, is the new electric car Hyundai plans to use as a trigger for deep market penetration. This vehicle will have a sitting capacity of 7 or 8. The Hyundai Ioniq 7 model is one of the three new electric vehicles the company has already committed to releasing in the following years. There is no official word on the vehicle's release, although three trim levels might be anticipated. Because the company is concentrating on producing a vehicle that has a driving range of 300 miles minimum, it's expected that this vehicle will feature a huge usable capacity battery and a 350 kilowatt fast charger will be included. Pretty decent performance, but for a much cheaper price. Maserati Grecali Falgari Was the 2024 Grecali Falgari an electric version of its new Grecali SUV, Maserati is revitalizing its lineup. Given that the Italian word Falgari means lightning, we anticipate this EV crossover to bolt from rust. It promises to have that ability. The Italian automaker will achieve its goal of electrifying its car and SUV options as the Grecoli Falgari will join the Gran Turismo Falgari sports car. With a few notable exceptions, like a distinctive grille treatment and beautiful Falgari-specific wheel designs, the Grecoli Falgari's attractive exterior style is a close replica of the gasoline-powered counterpart. The Falgari's propulsion system still lacks details, although Maserati has promised a large 105.0 kWh battery pack, which should offer a highly competitive driving range. However, whether this figure refers to the total or usable capacity needs to be clarified. Maserati has stated that the Grecoli Falgari's powertrain will produce up to 590 pound-feet of torque, that electric drivetrain should offer quick acceleration, allowing it to compete with big players like the Tesla Model X. Jeep Wagoneer EV The all-electric 2024 Wagoneer will be one of the two electric SUVs offered in the North American market. We're getting a possible range of 400 miles per charge, a 600 horsepower output, allowing the electrified SUV to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in around 3.5 seconds. The launch of the Jeep Wagoneer EV marks a significant turning point for the off-road brand, which anticipates that by 2030, EV sales will account for 50% of total sales in the United States. Despite being Jeep's first fully electric vehicle, the 2024 Wagoneer EV will take design cues from the company's current gasoline-powered vehicles and combine them with EV-like elements like a grille that lights up. The Wagoneer EV has a futuristic appearance thanks to this fusion of modern and classic style features while still looking like a Jeep.